Hello, hello, and welcome to the Chiang Mai Railway Station. Here with Talia, as hello, usual. Hello. <laughs> and we are going to be taking a train today from Chiang Mai to Bangkok. Now, there's many different options. There's first class, second class, third class. Third class is kind of out of the question because there's no air conditioning, and we like our air conditioning. Um, second class and first class are separated in price by like, oof, one and a half times more, maybe up to two times more for a first class ticket. But second class does have AC, so that's what we're gonna go with. The second class ticket, now there's three different times it leaves. Three o'clock, 5.30, and six. And we are choosing the six o'clock time because it is a new train and uh, you get there a little bit quicker. So until then, we're gonna drop our bags off right back here. <laughs> and they charge you 50 baht per bag. So we're gonna drop off. Oh yeah, we negotiated it down to 40 baht. And we're gonna kill some time until six o'clock when our train leaves. So stick around. We're gonna give you a full tour of the train and see you in Bangkok. See you in Bangkok. <laughs> this is the ticket counter where you buy your train tickets to Bangkok. So this is one of those cases where a copy of your passport comes in handy because, well, I have a motorbike rental and the motorbike rental place does take your passport for. Uh, you know, insurance purposes or whatever, so you don't go off and steal their bike. So having a copy of your passport, which you need to buy a train ticket here, is necessary. So two second-class tickets cost exactly 1,982 baht, which is equal to 32 dollars US each, right around there. And that is good for one upper seat, one lower seat. It's a bunk bed, seats during the day, bunk beds at night, and you can pay by credit card if you want to with no fee. I call Tom. No. Let's go drop these bags off. So literally right across from the ticket counter is the luggage storage area. Thank you. And fast forward two or three hours later, we have got our groceries and our meal for tonight. And guess what? We are in one of those red taxis. Look at this. about in my last vlog there's a couple different options for getting around Chiang Mai the cheapest option is public transportation and that is a bus 20 baht flat rate the next cheapest thing is this red taxi service that we are in and it's 30 baht per person flat rate again and then finally you have the grab app which is like the uber of Southeast Asia and that ranges anywhere from you know a short ride with could be like 50 baht up to you know if you're going a long distance who knows how much but for the same distance that we're going it would have been 90 baht to the railway station <laughs> all right let's pick up our bags uh, got all our gear <laughs> Our train is leaving from platform four, which is right here behind me. Oh. And we are car number four. This is two. I feel like Harry Potter. Yes. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's nice. So this is the train to Bangkok. Brand new, like I said. Talia, first thoughts of the train. I want to do like MTV Cribs. Okay, we can do that. Hey, welcome to MTV Cribs. This is Tony, and today I am visiting my friend Talia. Hey. She lives on a train. My house. Can you give us a tour? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so this is my front door. Super space AG, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Oh. Here's all of the seats. I have so many couches. 
And like, this is my crib. This is it right here. We're minimalist. Where do you sleep? We sleep right here. It converts. So it's like, I don't need chairs and a bed. It's like all in one. Okay, can you show us that later? Yeah, I don't know how to do it yet, but <laughs> someone's going to show me how to do it and that's how I'm living. Okay, perfect. Stay and tuned. in the fridge, I've got falafel. I've got some like curry. I've got salad. What else? Mm. Oh, a croissant for my friend Tony so he can eat. That's me. Bananas. Oh, and baby pineapple because everything is better when it's tiny. <laughs> awesome. This is this is so cool, Tally. I can't believe you live here. It's so cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anything I just else? like travel from, I'm always going from Chiang Mai to Bangkok. Like that's the thing. It's like I live here so I can just go back and forth. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Do you have electricity? <laughs> I do. It's right here. Oh, cool. And, and Wi-Fi? What's the uh -oh. Wi-Fi password? Um, it's Talia Rocks. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's Wi-Fi apparently. I don't know if that's actually true, but <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Anyth anyth anything else, Talia? Um, we'll show you like how the abode works in a little bit. I think that's good for now. What does abode mean? Abode? Like my humble abode. It's like where I live, my, where I reside. Okay, she'll show us her abode. And at six o'clock on the dot, we are moving. Here we go. <laughs> Fun fact here, there is a kitchen on this train and there's a full menu here. Prices seem to be just double of what they are usually in, uh, in Chiang Mai or elsewhere in Bangkok or Thailand in general. Anyway, you can see here that they are putting down the seats one by one with a, a lock and key. We are not allowed to put them down, but they right. can. Yeah, you, you were right. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Talia has kindly offered to show us the bathrooms. We have to find it. My house is so big that I don't know where the bathroom is. Oh, space age. Oh, it smells good. Somebody's cooking a good meal. Can I let you through? Where is the restroom? Toilet? Here we are. Hello, this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom. I have four bathrooms. Kind of like a... It's like an airplane. Airplane bathroom? You have to be small to fit. Okay, you get let's... one and I get one. This is my private room. Okay. And then this is for you. I designated that one for you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Time for dinner. And now we are getting our bed made. They make the bed for you on second class. Yes, that's right. Wait, this is my house. Yeah. <laughs> So this kind of reminds me of like the ultimate hostel. You have bunk beds on either side here, the whole length of the train. And it actually looks kind of comfortable, wouldn't you say? I'm not bad about it. Alright, let's check this out up here. There's actually power on the train here. So we got power outlet US and Thai style plug. And a little light. Right there. Pretty cool. Oh, and actually uh, a blind. And the best room. Good night guys, see you in Bangkok! Bye! <laughs> Just about 7am, let's see what's going on. Good morning! Oh god, good morning! How did you sleep? Talia's not happy. What's wrong? It's very early. It's cold. We got kicked out of our bed. They have to convert it back to daytime use. Yeah, but I just want to leave it back. So after sleeping upstairs last night, I think I found out why it is slightly cheaper to stay up there by 100 baht or like three US dollars. Uh, so number one, 
it's just more inconvenient to get up there. Number two, there's this like light that shines in your eyes pretty much the whole night, so you need a sleeping mask, and you're kind of protected by the bed above you if you're sleeping down here on the, the first floor. And number three, I think you feel more of the effects of the train moving, like from side to side on the tracks, so you get wobbled around, tossed around a little bit more. And we're there. Thank you, goodbye. Alright guys, and that's it. We're in Bangkok. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions about taking trains in Bangkok or Thailand, Chiang Mai, whatever, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks again. Please subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace,